Hi, welcome back to System by Log Basics again. So in this video, we are going to learn about child class, handles for child class and about polymorphism. So what's exactly this child class? So the class which inherits all the properties from the parent. So in the previous video, we learned how to write a class, class parent and which has a variables address and data and a function print. So now let's learn how to write a child class. child class. Child class extends parent. So this is how we write a child class. So in default, the class child has variables address and data from the parent and function print. So what's this child concept? So in this uh, image, you can see parent uh, under a son. So you can see that the son has a lot of qualities from his father. That is eyes, nose, hair, everything. So this is exactly the child, child class concepts. Child class has all the properties from the parent class. So for example, if the parent class has variables, the same variables will be present in child class in default. And if par uh, parent has some functions, the child class will have the same functions in default. You don't have to write a new functions, new uh, variables, which are already present in the parent class. So the next topic is how to give handles to child class. So in my previous video, we learned how to give handles to the class and how to access variables and how to utilize the function. In the same way, the child class can also access variables and print fu and function. But the good feature of child class is it can access all the variables from the parent class and it can access all the functions from the parent class. So for example, in this one, c1.print, print is in the parent class function and address and data are the variables of the parent class which we can use it in the child handle also. So the next topic we are going to study is about polymorphism. Polymorphism is a feature in system analog which allows same function name could be used in a different different forms. So it's the same function name but it takes a different different forms. So let's take an example of chameleon. So it changes its features in different different environment. In a brown environment, it looks brown. In a green environment, it looks green. In a muddy brown environment, it looks muddy brown. So it's the same chameleon, but its features changes in a different different environment. So in the same way, it's the same function name, but its features that's inside the function, what, what we write inside the function changes in the different different classes. Let's look at the example of it. So let's look at the example. So in this diagram, we have parent class and we have three child classes. So in the parent class, we have a function called display, which displays as parent class. In the child classes, all child classes has function display. It's the same name function, but it displays different, different things. Like the child one displays child one class, child two displays child two class, child 3 displays child 3 class. So in order to use the function display from the parent class, we use parents handle to use the function display. So in order to use the child 1's display function, we use child 1's handle. So in order to use a child 2's display function, we use a child 2's handle. In order to use a child 3's display function, we use a child 3's handle. So we use different different handles for each child class and parent class to use the functions and the variables.